Today I really bring to you a very promising piece of news. As you are aware in the last few days the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare have now approved vaccination in pregnancy. This is truly a ray of hope for our very delicate and vulnerable population that is the expectant mothers. Of course the pregnant women must get vaccinated. Uh, the benefit of the vaccination far outweighs any theoretical risk that is there by the vaccine. Well, mostly 90% or more of the infection, COVID-19 infections in pregnant women will be very, very mild. But in 10% or less, they may have a very high or a very severe disease which may require hospitalization, it may also require an ICU admission and it will cause rapid deterioration in their health which will not just affect them but also their fetuses or their babies. Well, the pregnant women who have high risk pregnancies for example, if they are elderly, more than 35 years, if they are obese, if they have any medical disorders like high blood pressure or diabetes, or if they have any risks or any previous history of uh, some thrombosis in the legs or uh, thrombosis in their body, they are definitely at higher risk of developing COVID-19 complications. Well, mostly 95% of the cases, the newborns will be healthy and there will be no problems. In less than 5%, however, there might be a risk of preterm delivery or the birth weight may be low, which could be less than 2.5 kgs. And very, very rarely, the newborns can have a severe disease or problems also. Well, like the general population or like any of us, the pregnant women should also register on the COVID app or they can do an on-site registration at the vaccination center. Well, there are two vaccines available right now, the Covaxin and the Covishield, both requiring two doses. So a pregnant woman can choose any of these two vaccines. Well, if possible, she should try to take it in the second or the third trimester of pregnancy. However, she can take the vaccine at any time in her pregnancy. Well, she can take the vaccine 12 weeks after the infection or if she has had COVID-19 in her current pregnancy, she may choose to take the vaccine after delivery. Well, of course, it helps the newborn. There are antibodies which are passed on from the mother to the baby and it benefits the vaccination in the mother not only benefits her own self, but it also benefits the newborn baby. Well, as with the general population, the side effects are usually very, very mild, even in pregnant women. They may just have some fever, body ache, they may have a local site uh, pain, which can easily be a uh, cured by taking a simple paracetamol. Very, very rarely they may have certain severe side effects. This could uh, result in uh, difficulty in breathing or chest pain or some gastrointestinal problems. One should remember that if they are facing any major side effects, 
they must report to their own doctor at the earliest let me end by telling all of you all that let us not forget to continue to wear our mask continue to sanitize our hands and maintain social distancing in this pandemic and i wish each and every of you beautiful expectant mothers to stay safe stay healthy and have a fantastic delivery thank you